Meet Aurea, the world's first audio interface and monitor controller designed specifically with immersive audio in mind. In this video, we will be walking through how to use the calibration features found in Aurea's hardware to correct issues you may be having with your room and your speakers. If you are interested in using the Sonarworks onboard functionality, we cover that in a different video that is linked down in the description. Before you begin using the calibration features in the Aurea unit, it may be useful to use measurement software and techniques to get an accurate reading of how your speakers are behaving in your space. There are programs available like Room EQ Wizard and Smart, however this video is not a tutorial on how to use measurement software, you may have your own methods and so this part is up to you. We do include the Sonarworks Sound ID measurement microphone in every Aurea box and this can be used as a rough measurement tool, but without using the specific calibration curve that links that microphone to its own software, you may find that your measurement results are generalized rather than very specific. We highly recommend spending as much time and effort as possible on room acoustics and speaker positioning as you can before heading into the calibration phase. Remember, the best correction is no correction. Once you have your waterfall graphs, speaker delay and output level measurements, it's time to look at Aurea's calibration features. The first thing to do is to make a new profile, making sure that the correct inputs and speaker outputs are chosen for the calibration that you want to apply. Once you have your speaker and room measurements, one of the most common issues that occurs is a non-linearity in the response of a given speaker, whether because of room modes or speaker response. To correct these characteristics in a given speaker, we first need to look at the Aurea software app, and then select the speaker we want to correct first, then we click the setup button. This opens setup mode. From here, we can see the EQ section for our selected speaker. From here, we have eight bands we can configure as needed. Fully parametric, each band can be configured for a specific frequency, gain, and Q. So each section can control a specific narrow notch or a more broad general frequency area. If one speaker is nearer or further away from the listener than the rest of the speakers in the array, that signal will arrive at the listener at a different time from the rest of the sound source. This can lead to the perception that sounds are panned incorrectly and can negatively affect mixing where sound object positioning is an important factor, which is quite a concern in immersive mixing. To correct for this, each speaker has a delay control that can adjust from 0 milliseconds to 75 milliseconds to compensate for the speaker alignment. Keep in mind that if a speaker signal is late and the rest of the speakers are aligned, the correction would have to be applied to all of the speakers except the late one to compensate. For example, if the left height speaker was 0.5 milliseconds behind and all the other speakers were at 0 milliseconds, it would be necessary to add a 0.5 millisecond delay to all the speakers in your setup except that left height one. In most real world cases, there may be more than one speaker with a need for a delay adjustment, so make sure to perform the required calculations to get them all in line. In setups where the speakers may be slightly closer or farther away than the ideal, this will likely also affect their perceived volume level, which is something that can also affect the perception of positioning and object imaging. To correct for this, each speaker in the Aurea app has a level trim that can be adjusted by up to 12 dB, positively or negatively, to take the speaker level to precisely where it needs to be. Immersive audio setups include an LFE channel, low frequency effect, and this comes out of a dedicated subwoofer. In an ideal system, each speaker in the array would be able to produce low frequencies as well, this being especially important in immersive music mixing, where instruments would likely extend down into bass frequencies, such as a kick drum or a bass guitar. In practice, many speakers in immersive setups may not be able to recreate those sub-frequencies. This is especially true of height speakers, which are often smaller to accommodate positioning and ceiling mounting. To produce the lower frequencies of these channels, Aurea has a bass management system integrated. Each speaker has a bass management control, providing a configurable crossover filter below which the sub-frequencies are taken from that channel and fed to the subwoofer to be mixed with the LFE audio channel. 
This also means that those speakers with bass management enabled don't have to struggle to try and reproduce those frequencies, and should be able to recreate the upper bass and mid-range more faithfully, resulting in a more efficient playback setup and clearer sound. When all of your calibration is done, this will be saved into the profile you made by pressing the Save button. If, for any reason, you wish to use the same calibration as a starting point for a different profile, for instance, you may want to have a profile with bass management enabled and another disabled for comparison, there is an option to duplicate that profile before editing the new version. This covers the calibration features in Aurea. We hope this helps you get the most out of your immersive experience. You can find more information on our YouTube channel covering the software and general setup to get you started. Thanks for watching and have fun mixing immersive.